well, butter my Pop-Tart and call me Relic Tokens. Uh, we got a few products here to review, so stick around. Uh, first off, the Relic Tokens, I don't know if you guys remember, but these came out maybe about a year ago, I'd say. Probably around the same time they're going to come out again. Um, I'll provide release dates to all that in just a moment, but... Uh, I did open a booster box of these. Uh, it was the Eternal Collection that came out first, and uh, I think that box is already going for like a hundred plus, uh, hundred dollars plus. Um, this one's MSRP's. It looks a little lower than that, but this is the second release of these Relic tokens. Um, let's take a look at some of the images here and uh, read a little bit more about what exactly is all going on with this. So, Relic tokens lineage collection. Track your tokens, power, and toughness, or other mechanics with these Magic the Gathering Relic tokens. I think these things are sweet. Um, I'd really like to know your guys' opinion on this for sure. Uh, is this something you'd want to get, you know, kind of thing. Uh, the Lineage Collection releases um, release offers unique designs available in both regular and rainbow foiled versions. To give your tokens an outstanding eye-catching look, each Relic token has three rotating numerical dials to track each number individually from 0 to 9. Each display box contains 24 unopened factory-sealed packs, and each pack contains three randomly inserted Relic tokens. The dimensions are 2 inches by two and a, uh, 2.4 inches. There you go. Uh, release date. Oh, looks like they're going to... Well, the MSRP is different. I found a bunch of different sites. One has it. For eighty nine dollars, this this is a suggested the MSRP I guess is one nineteen seventy six. You get twenty four packs in all. Typically, these sell for like three forty nine individually. About I'd say, uh, wow. Pre orders due July twenty. <laughs> I'm already this is already old news for some people. Um, it releases September twenty. That's for distributors and whatnot. I'm sure releases September twenty eighteen. So this is next month. Also, there's so much new stuff coming out. Um, new features now with three dials to track. That's cool. There's three dials. They didn't have that before, so that's pretty slick. Um, durable, hard plastic material. With an un okay, we already know about that. 17 collectible tokens. There's 17 total. Premium foils. The, the Tarmogoyf, I've seen it sell for... It's the one that came out in the Eternal Collection. It's, it has been selling for anywhere... Uh, 15, all the way to 35 bucks I've seen these, these sell for. So here's what some of them look like. Uh, we got the Elf Warrior coming out. There is one I'm really pumped about. Uh, we'll get to that in a second here. The Thopter. Uh, good old Vampire Lifelink. The Dino. I like that they got the Dino out too. Um, got some pirate action. The Merfolks, of course. I wonder if this is going to be like an annual thing. Like every year they just they just drop one of these. Um, has, have any of you even picked up any of this? Um, I think it's really neat and cool. I think it's something different for sure. We got the Demon over here. The Elemental, that looks fun. I know someone was just talking about Elementals for the other product uh, that WizKids is dropping. If you haven't seen that video, the other magic stuff coming out, those things are really freaking neat. You got to check it out for sure. Uh, flying Bird token over here, the old Demon Flyer right here. A demon. <sighs> there's so much cool stuff going on here. Get I, You're all in suspense. Just wait for it. And there's even special ones as well. There's special ones you can get too, which is even cooler. Poison token. They finally did it. I remember I was saying something about this um, when they dropped the Eternal Collection. I'm like, I wonder if they'll ever make a poison one, because why would they not? Finally, we got one. Uh, Sapperling and the Ooze. Get ready, baby. Here it comes. And there's one even cooler than this one. Wait for it. Oh, it's so cool. Uh, we got the Worm and Death Touch. Uh, the Worm Death Touch, of course. Uh, I said that's so silly. And the, uh, the Lifelink one. Just the token cards of these, I think, go for like four or five bucks each, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I mean, these are pretty cool because they come at the counters and everything um, and tell your life. And then I, I think this is really neat. The Liliana. That one I'm really pumped about, but there's one more. Wait, there's more. Oh, the suspense is killing me. Boosh! She has arrived on the scene, and so has Bad Boy Card. Oh, my gosh, man. These things are so neat looking. They really, really are. Um, the artwork, the original Liliana the Veil uh, artwork is sweet. The original artwork from the Karn, pretty freaking nasty. Uh, this gets into some other stuff over here. <clears throat> Here's something that's a bonus, though. I guess uh, if you, and then you get three in each pack, just so you guys know. Uh, you buy two displays, receive one exclusive token, one token at random from one of the four below. 
Buy four displays, receive one exclusive token and one foil exclusive token. Two tokens total at random from the four below. <laughs> Chibi Liliana, Chibi Chandra, Mau token, and the Magic the Gathering Planeswalker symbol. Those would be neat to collect because those are going to be a lot more rare. I don't think they're going to print as many as these, obviously, because they're just distributing the, uh, the other ones normally. But these ones are pretty special. But really, you got to buy four display booster boxes. That's a bit rough. That's more for game stores and whatnot, you know, to, if they want to get these super collectibles, I guess you could say. <clears throat> Here's the old ones in case you guys just want a refresher on it. Um, Angel, Beast, Cat, Dragon. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. Here's the Tarmogoy if it's going for a bunch. Uh, I thought one of, one of these other ones was going for a bill. So I think maybe the Angel, or no, the Bolus. Nicole Bolus was going up in price too. Pretty nasty. All right, let's get into this other stuff. There is some crazy speculation and talk going on about this guy. Dual Decks, Bitter Blossom, and Lotus Cobra. Now, before we all get crazy and go overboard and get all excited here, because when I first saw this, I, I almost uh, I almost had to hit the toilet. Okay, it was very, this is this was exciting. I'm like, no way, because I do have a token deck with like, and I run three or four bitter blossoms. I think it's three, three maybe four bitter blossoms in the deck. And when I saw this sucker, this is something I think a lot of players, you know, have been anticipating something a really strong good product, you know. Um, when especially a much needed reprint of Bitter Blossom, Lotus Cobra not so much, but you know, I hate they threw it on there. For those of you who don't know what, what Bitter Blossom does, at the beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life and put a one-one Black Fairy Rogue creature token with flying on the battlefield. It's a two-drop. I mean, it's nasty. Every turn you can just drop these tokens. You know, yeah, you might lose a life, but there's so many ways around that. Um, you know, to use other cards in Iraq. Holy smokes! Uh, people are saying some fun stuff down here. Now the thing is. I thought this was real for a second. Also, shout out to uh, Mike the Gathering over there on my Instagram. Check that out. i uh, link in the description of every video, guys, for um, a lot of things that go on, from my Facebook to Instagram. Um, I did a live stream last night on Facebook, actually. And uh, just a whole bunch of stuff. A whole, a whole, a whole bunch of stuff goes on. Uh, the Patreon and uh, ways to save money on products like this on Ebates. So definitely check it out. Um, for everything you purchase on, uh, on eBay and anywhere else, another thousand stores, it's ridiculous. Follow the link in the description. Um, let's just see what some people are saying about this dual deck. Uh, I think a signature spell book like one uh, featuring a particular artist would be easier to assemble, but either way, it would be a delightful idea. It, definitely a delightful idea. I do agree with that. I'd buy four of them. Yeah, I'd buy a thousand of them, Mr. Confused. I would buy a thousand of them for sure. <clears throat> but the Reddit community dev definitely had uh, a lot of fun with this one. Uh, the Eugene Nielsen deck uses the Lotus Cobra and a crazy amount of landfall to play. Enter the infinite early and combo off. A full place of Nielsen, Swords of Plowshares, and a place of Eternal Witness. I wish they would do that. If they're going to make these dual decks, why not actually give us like a really good deck that's like competitive, just right out of the box, you know? Where you don't got to upgrade it at all. There's no upgrades necessary. Give us play sets of the good stuff, you know? I'd, I'd like to see that by Wizards. Um, I, I think a lot of you would also like to see that, but I, I wonder what they'd charge for something like that. They'd have to jack up the price, I would assume, for whatever deck they're creating. Good old Lotus Fixin'. There you go. It's a man fixin'. I took a stab at making this. Uh, Enchantress is the main theme with Graveyard. These are people's ideas of what they think would be in it. Uh, and Elves sub-themes, as dual decks often have a sub-theme or two. It's pretty expensive right now, but I'll probably cut some. Okay. I still need some work and play testing, yada, yada, yada. Essentially, good. <laughs> a lot of fun. Um, here's what they say would be in the deck. It's so neat that they, you know they the, the community Reddit is a really cool place. Um, just for everything, everything under the sun, really, and in the universe and everywhere else. Uh, I'd love if they did this, especially for artist specific basics. Um, it would also be cool if the artists involved each got like a dollar from each one sold so people could further support their favorite artists. I'd pay an extra couple of bucks if they did that. I would be all over this one in particular. For sure, man. Uh, just people had a lot of fun with this idea. What do you think? Would you want to see something like this? It's not real. It's not real, guys. It was just a post on, uh, on Reddit. I was tricked for the first, uh, I think the first day. I thought this was real. I'm like, sweet. We, we got Bitter Blossom, Lotus Cobra, Dual Decks. No way. This is nuts. Um, but no, 
I was duped. It's not it's not a real thing, but the idea is there, and maybe you know maybe Wizards will listen. You know, enough people start talking about it. You know, who knows? And then uh, some stuff coming soon, as you all know. Guilds of Ravnica is dropping October fifth, twenty eighteen. Um, it just says on Ravnica, whoever you are, soldier, a scientist, merchant, a spy, your guild is the core of identity. Um, it's going to come um, with 259 cards. Look all the languages it's available in. Did you even know that? It's nuts. Also, um, I do give out beta keys every now and then when I do live streams. So if I do have a live stream, make sure you hit the bell and get involved in that. Official three-letter code. Legit. Um, so this is going to be coming out October 5th, and then following that is going to be Ravnica Allegiance January 2019, uh, which is pretty legit also. 259 cards right there. Uh, Darkness is coming to Ravnica, which is cool. A conflict that could tear apart the world itself. Looms large and the fragile peace between the guilds has strayed to its breaking point. Now with everything on the line, it's time to step up, prove your loyalty, and fight for your guild. Legit. Um, I, are you guys excited about Return to Ravnica? Like, seriously? I, I This is Return to Return to Return to Return to Ravnica? Uh, are we excited about this? I, serious? Is, is everyone in hype mode? Are we pumped about this? I, I'm not sure. Uh, I, I don't know what to make of it, honestly. I really just don't. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to close this video out. But one last thing I just wanted to throw in here at the end just for fun. Uh, if you're going to bash on Bad Boy Gaming and you're a YouTuber and you're going to do it in a live stream, you know, and then your fans are going to come run to me and tell me all about all the nasty things you said about me. Don't delete the video. At least leave it up there so I can check it out and have some laughs too, man. Come on. All right, guys. As always, PLA.